Hey, beautiful Sag. Welcome back, Sagittarius, and thank you for joining me here. I hope you're all doing amazing. Let's see. Sagittarius, please and thanks. Hmm. Someone feared commitment. Let's see. Someone was very narcissistic, saying you always allowed me to get away with so much that I felt I didn't do anything wrong. Maybe because you never said anything to them or they're saying that, but they're being a narcissist. So unless you was there, they thought you let them get away with something. They could have said that they were focusing on work. They didn't have time for you. They felt like you would only end up hurting them in the end. I had a lot of responsibilities. I didn't mean to ghost you. And now they're afraid to contact you. Because they think now you're going to reject them. So this person is very narcissistic and pessimistic. They're being pessimistic. Like, oh, well, you're going to only end up hurting me in the end. Or you're going to be this or you're going to be that. Negative thinking. Their friends are a bad influence on them. I worry about what they say about us. See, they thought that you were going to reject them. They're afraid of rejection and they were afraid that you were going to end up rejecting them because of their attitude, because of the way that they were. And it's like they were being pessimistic. They were thinking like the worst case scenario. Oh, you're going to end up hurting me, Sag, or you're going to end up doing this, Sag, or you're going to end up doing that, Sag. Um... They're saying, though, that you allowed them to get away with so much. And they felt like they didn't do anything wrong. Because maybe you were understanding or maybe you were not being controlling. <laughs> or maybe you were just like, I'm not going to tell a grown ass person how to think and feel and do. Let's see what they have to say, Sag. They have serious anxiety about the separation. And they know that they would be, because they were being pessimistic, maybe they just took way too long. Maybe they moved way too slow. Affirmation. My life may seem like I got it all figured out, but the truth is it's one big mess. I feel lost and I don't know what to do. Every time I've seen you, I always got amazed how beautiful you truly are. I just don't know how to act in a committed relationship. Do not underestimate how much I do love you. I may not show it, but you really are my one true love. I want you back because I know we're meant to be together. Now, this has been coming out consistently in all of your reads. So this is from their point of view. And in their point of view, they know you're meant to be together. They know that you were their one true love. But they were just, this person's fantasizing about you. This person wants a committed relationship with you. I want to be with you, but I can't leave this karmic situation behind just yet. My family and friends do not understand the connection. I was hiding how I truly was feeling about you. I was keeping it a secret because I don't feel good enough for you. 
I am loving you from afar. What the heck kind of... Bent, <laughs> twisted, distorted thinking, reasoning is that? What kind of distortion is this? I am watching you from afar. I don't know. They are fantasizing about you. They thought that you were going to, in the end, that you would end up hurting them. And they're sorry. But this person is like easily influenced by people around them. I'm just saying. They want to marry you one day. They want a commitment. Yeah, they do. They do. Ace of Pentacles, Four of Wands. Yeah, they want a commitment with you. But they just don't know how to act in a committed relationship. They don't know how to act. They don't know how. They love you. But they're keeping you at a distance. They're pushing you away. Look, they're loving you from a distance. They took too long. <sighs> they took too long. And now they fear you rejecting them. Told you they want a commitment with you. This person... They're hurt that they walked away from you or you walked away from them. But they took too long. And now it's like they're all stressed out, worrying what their friends will say. Worrying about their friends, what their friends will say, instead of what you have to say. This, look. How annoying. They find you breathtaking. Look, Sagittarius, this person. Looking you dead in the eye. I breathe you in, you breathe me in. We are one. We are united. But they're afraid of being rejected. like they were in some kind of toxic mindset it's like they are with this karmic relationship here they are and they are holding on to that relationship and holding on to the memory of you. It's just. A 
afraid of what friends and family would say. So it's like they're holding on to this other person. Now, it could be that they're afraid of what their friends and family would say about this other energy. You're focusing in on your healing. They're scared of being hurt. They figured like in the end, you're going to end up hurting them anyway. Just a pessimistic, narcissistic point of view. It, it really is. They're a pessimist. They're a pessimist instead of like an optimist. Looking at the best case scenario, they're always looking at the worst case scenario. They broke your heart here. And now they're in regret. You may not show it, they're saying, but you truly were my one true love. I don't understand this person's thinking. They make me annoyed. I feel like just the way that they're mentally thinking. It's just because you stayed silent. You didn't say anything. They thought that you let them get away with too much. It's like in... It's because you weren't babying them. It's because you were treating them as an adult. You were treating them as how you're supposed to treat somebody. I, I don't get it. I just keep to seem hurting you. I just seem to keep hurting you because of all the pain they have inside. That's why they stay away. Their life is one big mess at the moment. That's why they're not communicating. Because they don't want to burden you or drag you down with them. They need to fix something first. I know in my heart that someday, somehow, we'll be together again. I want to leave the past behind and start over with you. They are crystal clear of their intentions.
this person got a real hang up with their friends and family. They got a real hang up with other people. I'm going to tell you that right now. And they got a lot of responsibilities and they got a lot of burdens and they don't want to come into your life and drag you down with them. So they feel dragged down, but they don't want to take you with them. So this person feels bedraggled. They feel bedraggled like they would be dragging you down with them. Wow. Saji, this person's really messed up. I I lost track there. My mind absolutely went blank getting into this person's energy. And I can tell you, they are really messed up. This is a messed up individual. And it's because of their pessimism. It's because of their narcissism. It's because of it's like they're a procrastinator. They keep putting things off and putting things off and putting things off. It's like they would be dragging you down. I'm sorry, but they would be. Unbelievable energy. I actually... That's why I pause there, not saying anything. I'm actually tuning into their energy. This person's a mess. They got worries. They got stresses. And they got a lot of problems. And they got a lot of responsibilities. And they would be dragging you down. Take care, Satch.